Hello everyone and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and well, I'm happy you're here because we have a very special car today as you can see. But it's very, very windy out today. So bear with me. Uh, I know it's, it can be very annoying, but uh, I'll try to stop if a big gust of wind comes in. Uh, but for now, let me start by doing a lap around the car because well, this is one special car and I am a bit in love with this thing. Uh, we have it in Indisch Rot, which is a very nice sort of lighter red color, uh, which I think suits this 991-911 very, very well, especially in GT3 trim. Um, we also have these very cool 20-inch matte black wheels with behind them the carbon ceramic brakes. And we also have this key uh, which is in the same color as the car very cool so if we move here uh, we see that we have Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires so these are the new Cup 2 tires one of my favorites and well at the back of course the humongous GT3 wing with these new Ram Air intakes uh, which I think are very, very cool. And they force air, of course, into the engine, which sits down here. Um, we also have a little telltale sign, which is 4.0, because the GT3 now also has a 4.0, so a four liter engine. The flat six, of course, from Porsche. Um, the previous GT3 had a 3.8 liter with 475 horsepower and this has a 4 liter with 500 horsepower so it has the same amount of horsepower as the previous 991.1 GT3 RS um, but it does still rev to 9000 rpm so just like the last GT3 so very cool it's not It's not just the engine from the previous GT3 RS. Uh, it's completely re-engineered because they had a lot of problems with the old 3.8 engine with the hydraulic valve lifters or something like that. Uh, the one we drove, that black on black one uh, we drove this year, also had that problem and broke down. So they got rid of that system um, and the problems should be gone now. So, I have to say, this spec GT3, that red with all those matte black accents, those wheels, uh, we have a new front bumper, and these LEDs are a bit more integrated into the bumper, so I think it has a very clean look. Um, and this new front bumper and the revised rear wing, because this rear wing compared to the old GT3 is a bit higher and a bit further back. Um, so that bumper and that wing, uh, a couple of changes here and there means that it now has as much downforce as a 997 GT3 RS, um, which is about 155 kilos of downforce at top speed. So it's, a it's really, it's a serious track weapon. Um, it also has the club sport pack as you will see because we have a roll cage we also have these very cool carbon fiber bucket seats um, in the interior it's like a mirror from outside so most of it is black with a few red accents and uh, and there's the roll cage so the club sport pack uh, is free you don't have to pay anything for it and you get a roll cage and a fire extinguisher um, so I think the roll cage is really cool, you know, if you are going to take this to the track, which I highly recommend, the roll cage is also really good to have. So let's close the door and the wind is gone. We also have a new steering wheel, which is a little bit smaller than the previous GT3. Um, it's, it's really nice. It's really thin and it has this Alcantara with this marking, uh, no buttons at all. 
those pedal shifters behind them. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a really really great place to be. These seats are quite hard. Um, they are not really adjustable. Only uh, front to back and the height, even electrically. Um, but they're not uncomfortable. It's just that you sit really snug and um, the seating position is, is near perfect. I mean, you sit really low. Um, yeah, really cool. So I'll open the window for the startup because you get this really cool bark when it starts up. Um, I, I also have some buttons here, so for the gearbox, the sport mode, the suspension, the traction control systems, the nose lift, which is also an optional extra and this car has it, and the exhaust valves. So if it's closed and open, it's a bit deeper. Not sure if you could hear that, but it's a bit deeper. So let's put it in drive and let's take it for a little drive. I will be taking it to the Autobahn later on today. Uh, so if you are interested in watching that video, you can just subscribe to our channel and you will get an update. Uh, don't forget to switch on the notifications by clicking the little bell on our channel. Um, so yeah, if you subscribe, you can do so by clicking on the little icon in the bottom right corner somewhere here. Okay, so one of the coolest things about this car is, let me just switch this off, how do I do that? When you drive like this slowly, you get all these rattles and it sounds like it's about to stall and it's, it's like it's really hesitant to 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 drive slowly and like it's it's holding it in it, it has to explode but it's holding it in and that's really cool it's real it's it's like a race car feeling um yeah so we have a revised pdk gearbox which means it shifts even quicker uh and in auto mode i mean it's, it's seriously comfortable. I mean, that gearbox is so smooth. It shifts so well. Um, it's just really, really impressive. But here's the kicker. You can also get this GT3 with a manual gearbox now. So there was a lot to do about the last one that it hadn't, that it wasn't available with a manual gearbox. Uh, but this one will be. It's, it's not yet, I think, but it will have one later this year. Uh, the six-speed manual from the 911R. So that should be a lot of fun as well. So there is also a difference if you have the PDK or a manual, apart from shifting yourself, of course, um, is that the PDK one gets uh, an electronically operated or controlled limited slip diff, and the manual gets a mechanical limited slip differential. So compared to the previous 991.1 GT3, we now have new dampers, we have a recalibrated four-wheel steering system, um, we have a new camshaft, new oil system. I mean, there has been a lot of ch I mean, there have been a lot of changes, and they're all for the better. I can assure you. This is, let me just open the exhaust, put the PDK in sport. I'm not, well, let's try the stiffest suspension mode as well. Oh my God. This is, it's even louder than before. I think it's a bit more raspy and raw at the top end, but my God. out to 9,000 rpm I mean there's just nothing nothing like this it's it's in a class of its own I mean there are all these track back things but nothing is as visceral Violated. 
it's just it's such such a unique experience there's just nothing like this car the last time we drove the GT3 uh, that car had to be sold still so the owner asked us not to push it too hard and uh, you know we complied of course because we don't want to mess up anyone's car but driving this now and being able to drive it like it's meant to be driven I could cry of happiness I'm not joking so handling wise this car is still in its own class I mean the the steering feel the brakes the gearbox everything is is just just about perfect um, the turn in is incredible the grip is phenomenal those Michelin cup 2 tires are so sticky and every time you expect it you know traction to to be lost or it just propels you forward just screams so I think it's time to take it to the autobahn now and really see what it can do and I'm already looking forward to you know running it through the gears 9000 rpm and see if we can't get it see if we can't reach the top speed of 316 kilometers an hour I think so let's go okay so here we are at the autobahn we have been waiting for quite a while I have done an autobahn POV already but it was still quite wet so we have been waiting to see if it would dry out and it seems to have dried out a bit so yes this looks fine Okay, so let's put the gearbox in sport, exhaust open. Oh, the 
those downshifts are so nice as well. It's just so sharp and... Oh, everything is... I'm telling you guys, there's there, there are not many cars which can get close to this when it comes to driving experience. I mean, you'd have to get a 458 Speciale or something like that. So, it's not too busy here actually. cylinder sound that that racy engine that revs out to 9000 rpm and just keeps getting better and better and better um, and as i said they recalibrated the four wheel steering which means at lower speeds the wheels steer against each other and at higher speeds um, they steer with each other so you get high speed stability and you get low speed agility and that and that just adds to that race car feeling. Because it feels so ready to race at any time. Oh, a bit of crosswind. by clicking on the little icon in the bottom right corner you can follow us on social media if you like and i will see you at the next pov review or i hope to oh ho, ho, ho. how's that for an ending bye guys